So in this video here, we're going to have an introduction to computer vision with the Hawk and Face platform. So basically, you guys are going to cover the different areas and the different tasks which are supported with the Hawk and Face platform. This is a playlist that I'm creating where we'll go over all the individual elements, all the pipelines and so on, how we can connect together and create whole computer vision pipelines and projects from scratch. So Hawk and Face is pretty much just GitHub, but for machine learning, we can host the models in there, we can have endpoints, deploy them, we can pull different models, test it out for our own applications and projects. If we're just in our research phase testing out multiple different stuff, we can do it for computer vision, natural language processing, and so on. Definitely check out the other videos in the playlist. So we're going to cover every single aspect of the Hawk and Face platform throughout this playlist. In this video here, we're just going to have an introduction to computer vision. Let's just start inside the Hawk and Face website. So this is just the main page. If we go up here at the top right corner and hit task, we can see we both have computer vision, natural language processing, and so on. All these different tasks are basically supported with Hawk and Face. Tons of different models, as you can see in here as well. We can do depth estimation, image classification, just feature extraction from our images, image segmentation, and all of that. Even optic detection, video cast classification, so how you can take a whole video and do classification of what's going on in that video. Even how we can go from text into 3D and also just have a single image and transform that into a 3D object. So all of these different tasks are supported out of the box with Hawk and Face. And in the previous videos, we covered like in more details with natural language processing and so on. All of these things. So definitely check out that video. So let's just go through it because again, this is just for computer vision instead of natural language processing. And if you want to know more details about like how you can become an AI engineer, freelancer, or basically just how to land AI jobs. I have an AI career program where I basically just teach you everything. We have the personal branding, how to land jobs, all the technical courses and so on, even weekly live calls, whole community and so on, and the mobile app. So definitely check that out in the description. So let's just choose one of the tasks here. So let's go in and do depth estimation. So again, you can use in the exact same way for all of the other ones in here. So this is just for a single image. We can have the image as an input. We throw it into the depth estimation models. We have some very good ones now. And then we get this estimated depth map, which is very useful if you want to go from 2D into 3D and get more understanding and basically just information about the world. We can read about the different use cases, high level overview with 3D representation, how we can go in and do the soft task with absolute depth, but also relative depth, because when you only have a single camera, you will get relative depth to the camera. So it will, it will change depending on the objects that you have in the camera, the distance from the camera and so on. But we can also use these models to go in and do absolute depth, which is a metric depth. So we like, like want to get the values like two centimeters, two inches, one meter and so on away from the camera. So this is really useful. Again, we're going to cover most of it. Everything is basically just built into a single pipeline with the transformer library. In the upcoming videos, we're going to dive way more into details, how this pipeline works under the hood and so on. But basically, we just need to specify the task. Doesn't matter if you want to do natural language processing, computer vision, what type of computer vision task you want to do. You just need to specify it here and also the model. So in this example here is just automatically going to download this model from the Hawk and Face registry. And this is the Midas model from Intel. Then we can just throw in our estimator. We can throw in our image. We can also specify the device and so on. So either if you want to run on CPU, GPU and so on, it's automatically going to detect that as well. So right now, let's just cover these few lines of code. Doesn't matter what task you want to do in computer vision. It is just these few lines that you have to do. So it's more about knowing all the different tools, all the different elements with the Hawk and Face platform, inference endpoints, how you can train your own models, upload them into the registry and your repositories with Hawk and Face, connect, glue all of the elements together, and then you can have everything up and running with just a few lines of code. So let's just jump straight into the editor here. Right now, we just have all these code files. I'm, I'm going to have all of it on my GitHub as well. So we're going to have a code file for all the videos that we're going to create. We'll probably have 20, 25 videos covering every single aspect of the Hawk and Face platform in this tutorial and playlist. So right now we have transformers, we import pipeline, we set up a pipeline with depth estimation, we pull the Midas model, and then we just have an image. You can also have a local image and so on and just throw it through. You can even have a while loop, reading it in with OpenCV and so on and just throwing it through the estimator. So right now we want to print our results here. So that's just basically just going to throw out our depth map. So right now let's activate my conda environment. And first of all, you need to pip install transformers if you haven't really, if you haven't done that before. So transformers, I already have it installed on my local environment, so I'm good to go. I can just run this Python script. So we have vision-intro.py. 
So everything is pretty easy. This is how we can work with Hawk and Face in the upcoming videos. We're definitely going to have it more advanced, cover everything. Here we can see it downloads the model automatically. So we have a config file for our model, and then we have the model.save tensors. And this is the way that Hawk and Face are storing these models. And again, we're going to see how we can do it on our own models, train our own custom models, even v 8 and so on for optic detection. You guys are probably familiar with that. So after it's done pulling the model, it will just take the image, throw it through the model, and then we'll have our depth map. So right now we will just print the results. There we go. So here we can see that we get the raw values. So if you just want to have the raw, raw depth, underscore depth, it will be equal to our result. And then we're just going to take the predicted underscore depth. So that will take the depth map, but we can also get the PLL image. So that will just be the depth. So that will be depth PLL. And we just have our results. There we go. And that will just be our depth. So here we should be able to just be able to extract our PLL image and we should just be able to either save it or show it. So let's just show it here and let's see if we can actually like see the output estimated depth for this image. So this is all we need, which you basically just need to import the pipeline, set up the pipeline, the estimator, and we're good to go. It's just a few lines of code and you can do it for every single task out there. Right now we can see it pulls up this image with these cats here, as we saw from the documentation as well from Hawk and Faith. And you can just throw in an arbitrary image and you will get the depth map out here in the dictionary. So this is how easy it is to work with, with Hawk and Faith. So I'm going to create this whole playlist where we're going to cover every single aspect of it. So this is really going to be helpful if you want to become like machine learning AI engineer because Hawk and Face is growing very fast. So I hope to see you guys in one of the upcoming videos. Until then, happy learning.